one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now we're going to do the Viennese Waltz natural turn and we'll start with the foot positions. Gentlemen, begin on your left foot, moving forward on the right foot, side on the left foot, and right foot closes to left foot. Now moving back and slightly to the side on the left foot, side on the right foot, and left foot closes to right foot. And now loads go into footwork as well as rise and fall in this dance. However, rise and fall is minimal due to the speed of the dance. So note please that gentlemen, you start on the left foot, moving into a heel toe, rising at the end of the step, toe of the left foot, and finally, toe heel. Toe heel, moving back, toe, and the last step is actually gonna be whole foot. Ladies, and now the foot positions. We begin in closed hold with a weight over our right foot, left foot back and slightly side, right foot side, close your left foot to the right foot, right foot forward, left foot to the side and close your right foot to your left foot. And now footwork and rise and fall. And toe heel, releasing the toe of the front foot and rising at the end of the step in the body only, no foot rise. Toe no rise, flat, lowering at the end of the step. Heel toe, rising at the end of the step, up on left toe, and toe heel, lowering at the end of the step. And now we're going to go into turn and alignments for the natural turn. We begin with the gentleman facing diagonal to center and the lady backing. We dance one eighth of a turn and that puts us into line of dance. We continue to turn to the right three eighths of a turn and that finishes us as a man backing diagonal center and the lady facing. Now we are making one eighth of a turn to move back into line of dance Continue turning to the right until we arrive diagonal to center once again. Now, please note that because we are turning constantly through the dance, we have to take into consideration who's on the inside and who's on the outside of the turn. In the beginning of this natural turn, I am moving forward as a man, so therefore I am on the outside of the turn and the lady is on the inside. I will try to go as straight as I can to get myself around the lady and now I'm going to take slightly smaller steps and the lady will move as straight as she possibly can to arrive into the desired positions. I'm also going to show you that from this angle. So again as a man I'm on the outside of the turn I need to move strongly forward and through so I can end up in the right position now I take a smaller step and let the lady pass to end in a desired alignment. We also have sway in this natural turn and in the beginning, in the first half of it, we are going to sway to the right and the lady is going to sway to her left over the next three steps. So beginning from first step to second step, I'm going to maintain my sway as I close my feet and now as I move backwards I'm going to take the sway off and introduce a left sway for the man and a right sway for the lady to end the figure. Now we also need to make sure that we don't turn too early or too much given the speed of the dance. So please note that my upper body 
is not going to be turning too early as I will demonstrate for you right now. That's going to create a very awkward position given the speed of the dance. So as I move forward, I am still maintaining my position with a very slight turn to the right, not overturning. Then on the second step, I can dance my left side through and finish the step. Same thing on the back half. If I turn too much or too early, we are going to wind up too much around each other. So I'm going to step back and then proceed by turning through the second and third step. And we will now demonstrate that for you with music. <laughs> 